the first step is to download the virtual box so you can go to the official website virtualbox.com and download both the files the windows host file and the extension pack Now we will proceed with the installation of VirtualBox on Windows. Click next, next again, next again, click yes and install. Wait for the download to finish and then we will install the extension back. Go to preferences, extensions click on the green icon choose the downloaded file and simply double click it and install it agree to the terms and conditions click next and the pack is installed now the next step is to disable your firewall and your defender simply click start type firewall go to advanced settings as you can see that the default firewall is on now you need to simply disable it to disable the firewall you need to simply click advanced settings now click windows defender firewall properties and turn off one by one private profile public profile click apply ok the last step is to disable your defender protection click manage settings turn off the real-time protection cloud delivery protection and automatic and temper protection so the next step is to download the required files uh, you can find this post link in the video description so you can download it in two ways by google drive or by media fire links so first you have to download the vmdk file and then you have to download the vbox codes so since i have already downloaded it i am not downloading it the last step is to create your virtual machine so you simply open your virtual box click new and simply copy the title you can keep any title but i am using the same as the file then you can simply increase the memory size and click use an existing virtual drive and you can simply use the file that you have downloaded click choose click create the next step is to go to settings go to system remove floppy increase the number of processes to 4 increase the video memory now go to usb and select 3.0 and click ok now you have to copy the name of your virtual machine and close your virtual machine the next step is to open your command prompt open your command prompt using run as administrator now simply open the virtual box code files and replace your virtual machine name to the name that you have already copied it click replace all and put these codes one by one now we are simply changing the directory now simply copy all the codes and paste it and click enter now close your file and open your virtual machine again and click start since i'm using a low configuration system uh, it will take some time to run the codes now we can simply wait for the installation to begin don't worry about these codes
now we will simply install the mac os icira now select your language your location followed by your keyboard click do not transfer you can sign in using your apple id but i am skipping it agree to the terms and conditions and create your computer account you can enter your full name your account name your password and your hint i am using techwitcher.com and keeping a random password click continue and this will create your account now wait for a while and your mac os high sierra will be ready you can directly continue or you can also use express settings and modify your OS Now this is setting up your Mac you can wait for 1 to 2 minutes and your high sierra will be ready So I have tested this installation on 2nd of January 2020 and you are done with your installation